I think I can finally tell the difference between a male, female and bisexual carob flower. Now this is a female because those little curved things are all about what will become a bean. They will all become beans, those things. So this is a female and of course this is the one with beans on it anyway. There's a bean. But all those little long curved green things will become beans. So this is a female blossom. They're female blossoms. It's a female tree. Now this tree is, has got uh, the little curved beans on it but it's also got little stamens as well so this must be bisexual I guess, this one The little white curved things there are the beans that are going to be on this tree but it's also got the little bristles like stamens so it enjoys the benefits of being both sexes, or the disadvantages of being both sexes. It's got stamen. Are they called st stamens as well as stigmas? Stigmas? I don't know. Stigmata? I don't know. I'm not sure what they are. But it's got both. It's got the male ones and the actual little beginnings of beans on it. Now this tree, it doesn't have any baby beans, it's just got the little male parts. And this tree doesn't ever have beans on it, so it must be a male. And it's not bisexual because it doesn't have any little, uh, little sort of beans on its flowers. It doesn't. And it has a strong smell of semen. Of course, even the female ones smell like semen at this time of year. So, this is obviously a male tree and it doesn't have beans. That's a little nature study lesson for me anyway. <laughs>